Hey guys, my name's Sean and I work at Birch Aquarium. Um, today I'm going to be giving you guys a little behind the scenes peek at how we kind of the life cycle of a coral colony at Birch. So uh, right here we have a cropper, a young guy. It's one of our oldest captive bred corals uh, in the building and it needs a little thinning or pruning. Um, as these coral colonies grow, they begin to shade themselves. So at the base, you'll notice a lot of the tissue has recessed. And um, in order to get light back into that colony, we're going to need to thin some of this out. So what you're going to see today um, is how we fragment coral colonies in captivity. Hey guys, so here we are in the back. This is the top of the tank that we just saw from the front. And as you can see, this colony is growing uh, very tightly together. The branches aren't allowing a lot of light to get into the center of the colony, which causes, like I said earlier, some recession from the bottom. Um, so in order to fix that, we're going to have to prune or thin out this colony. So right here, I'm going to reach in. This looks like a good spot to start. We're going to work from the outside in. And I'm going to snap off this small piece right here, um, then hand it to Mike down here where you can put it on reserve. Um, what we're going to do then is we're going to take fragments of corals that we've already propagated of the same species um, and we're going to actually plant them back in here kind of like a garden and we're going to regrow this colony over the next two to three years. But we are going to um, fragment this colony and send it out to other aquariums around, around the United States. So we're going to just give a little snap like that, kind of gently feed it out. And here's a, as you guys can see, a large, uh, a cropper, a young guy, or a staghorn coral. Um, you can see where it gets the name staghorn coral from the from the shape of this colony. So it kind of looks like a, a deer antler. Pretty pretty beautiful, pretty amazing piece. I'm gonna hand this over to Mike. So now we are complete with removing all of the old colony and as you guys can see the tank on the top is empty and we have a new clean slate um, to plant some younger corals that we've propagated. So let's go over here and I'll show you guys some small corals that we've been growing for about six, six to eight months. So. These are small colonies. Um, as you can see, they actually are glued onto a little concrete base. And this is what we're gonna plant into the, uh, into the tank, kind of like transplanting vegetables into the garden. So we're gonna get those in there and then they'll grow into a new, uh, what we call mother colony. So thanks guys so much for following along and um, being here with me to learn about some coral propagation and a little bit of exhibit maintenance and hopefully we'll see you guys soon when we reopen. So thanks for stopping by.